and Bernardo help us to to play, you know, in a different pause to have to make the explosion. Um, um, just on Kevin De Bruyne, I mean, today he did, didn't didn't quite look at, uh, at his best today. He sort of gave the ball away a few times. Um, he hasn't quite looked at his best in the last few weeks, in, in my opinion. Um, did, what, what, what does he need? Is, is he first of all is he one hundred percent fit? Uh, and and what, what exactly does he need? Does he need more game time? Does he need a bit of? A it's the same as I said before. Kevin, what is the standards of Kevin? <laughs> the sky. So and everyone knows he's his level. And sometimes Kevin has in, in one week an opportunity to show his quality. It was the light, in, you know, for the victory we had, and this is what they have to do. So. So come back to your principles, work hard, and everything is going to come back without any effort. Just do it what to use your quality, your best, and that's all. Hi, but, um, Pat, you said that the next three games are almost going to define your season, what you want to do for the rest of the season. Do you feel that you're arriving at this spell in, in, pretty, in a pretty good shape? You've got players back in form. It seems like the injuries are clearing a little bit. Yeah, we are everyone. John is back. I'm is back. Uh, yeah, but at the same time, now it's, it's good. Don't think much. Now it's two days off for everyone. Two days and a half. No, we need it. So because uh, have been a, a tough February month for us, especially n not for the amount of games we were used to, but especially away travels, away travels, and and now two days off, and we prepare good uh, the game against Crystal Palace. Always was really difficult for us, and of course Leipzig. I have the same opinion that I had when we played them, and after uh, Barley with Bini come back here before international break, and if we are able to to win the games, we will still alive in three competitions, and the last part of the two months will be there. If we lose, so we'll be out. <laughs> so for a competition, so it's simple as that. Arrive in a stage when you are there, that you know exactly when you lose games, you lose competitions, and now is the moment that is going to happen. I know that the seasons often can hinge on these little spells of maybe two and three games. When you're approaching a little spell like that, do you remind the players of how important this next week is going to be or, or do you try and take No, I, I like these two days that people forget football if they can, enjoy their lives with families, friends or whatever. And and after that, Tuesday to Tuesday afternoon to Saturday, we'll have enough time to res, reset ourselves and do it and do it again. Last couple of boys, guys, we'll just go over there. Richard. Yeah, I am Algerian uh, journalist. One question about Riyad uh, Mahrez. He stay on the bench today. In Algeria, people are often angry against you when Mahrez doesn't play. Is it difficult to manage or is it difficult decision to put him in the bench? I'm so sorry for the Algerian people. It's not my intention to make you feel sad. But you happen, we have a uh, and other players, for example, who in Argentina always will be sad for me because he didn't play. There is Sergio Gomez that is from 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 Spain that is upset with me, and also Calvin Phillips didn't play today, and all the British people are upset with me because he didn't play. So, so I had to take a decision. I have a huge opinion about Riyadh, exceptional, exceptional player. But in that moment, Phil have a one rhythm higher, and Jack give us a lot in terms of longer possessions too like 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 uh, Bernardo and and his commitment to aggressive to be aggressive against the back four and that's why I decided to end with them I felt during the game that they were playing good they were active that's why I didn't make a substitution so I said before before after Leipzig like a withdraw and the people say why did you not use the substitutions I said because I felt it and today I make one because I feel it. And if I don't feel it, I don't do it. Uh, hi, Pep. Just on Bernardo with his goal today. He's not been scoring as many goals this season. Is that kind of inevitable with Erling coming in and creating more? Or is it, would you want to see Bernardo and players? Bernardo never have been a top, top scorer, top assist. But he helped us to play better. And you want the statistics, OK, go to the big data and congratulations. You can write a big article about that. But there are things that people don't come to the in the data. And it's something like it's unique. And Bernardo is unique to make us, all of us, play better, be aggressive and play our rhythm that we need to play was better. And the game in, the, in some moments is 
so quick, so quick, so quick. And you know, sometimes it's with necessary, but sometimes not. And, uh, and Bernardo helped us to, to play, you know, in a different pause to have to make the explosion. And uh, it's unique. Bernardo is unique in the world doing this. Thank okay, you thank you.